And the mission of the Crim Fitness Foundation, we, uh, we're located in Flint, uh, downtown Flint, and we serve Flint and Genesee County. Um, and our mission, our vision at the Crim is to have accessible, vibrant communities for all people. And so we provide nutrition, physical activity, and mindfulness education at the Crim. Um, we do that in schools, we do that with adults, um, we do that all throughout the county, but we focus primarily in the city of Flint as it's a community of need, the, of most need in our county. Um, now my role at the CRIM, I am not a educator, um, and so I am working in the policy systems and environment um, kind of team, if you will, for the CRIM. Uh, we call it our active communities team. So what we end up doing is kind of taking the whole of the mindfulness, the physical activity, the nutrition, um, the mind, and, and saying, so we have these three things we want people to do, and we want them to be active, we want them to eat healthy, we want them to be stress-free. We need to make sure we have policies, systems, and the built environment for them to do that. Um, so that's typically what I do in the Active Communities Department. And one of the things that I wanted to talk about, kind of why I said when smoothies and sidewalks unite, um, we have a cross-sector collaboration in um, at the CRIM that we lead called Safe and Active Genesee for Everyone. And so in that group, we will have people um, from the, the nutrition world, we have people from business sector, government entities, we have people from health coalitions, and they all come together and we all have very similar missions and we try to figure out how can we work together to move these different points. And so one of the things that we've done that was kind of my inspiration for my really cutesy title um, was we have a Safe Routes to School program in Flint and that's one of the programs that we um, sort of lead the most because it's bringing kids, parents, neighbors, school administration, everybody together around one issue of making it safer to walk through your neighborhood. And one of the things that we did in order to do more collaboration across kind of genres or fields was to say, if we get kids walking more often, what can we do as incentives and prizes? How can we incorporate this into things that we already do? So we came up with a little program called Steps to Smoothies. And so every time our kids would walk to school, they get to track when, how far they walked, what did, you know, when they did it. And every time they did it, they got like a little smiley face or a full smiley face if they did more than a mile. Um, and at the end of the year, they got so many different types of fruits that they got to try out in a smoothie. Um, and we had the walking program, I think, mostly we did it in the warm months um, because our schools, they were not ready to try it in the winter, which is okay. Um, some of our other schools were, but the one school that did the steps to smoothies was like, we're only going to do it in the spring, and that's fine. So they did it in the spring, the kids got to try out these healthy foods, and the other way we worked in our physical activity is they got to use a bike blender to do it. So we were talking about the safety of walking to school, we were talking about lighting, they try to do like a mindful moment right before they go into the school, because sometimes we end the walk, and then they walk in and they just scatter. Uh, so they try to do a little mindful moment. Thanks everybody for walking today. Let's take a deep breath. School is starting. And they go inside, and then at the end of the program, they get to have they get to have like a little bit of fun. And uh, we usually do it at we usually try to combine it with some other activity that's happening in the school as another way to kind of level up our collaboration and raise awareness for parents who maybe don't know about the program. So maybe it would happen at field day and kids with a special ticket can get a smoothie, and other kids are like, well, what, how'd you get the smoothie? What'd you do? Well, I walked to school. Well, I want to do that. And so then the next time we do it, they want to do it as well. Um, and some of the other things that we, are, and I know I don't have a whole lot of time, but some of the other things that we've done um, in order to build collaboration is, especially with our nutrition partners, is taking a look at the safety and lighting and the crime and things around pocket parks, urban gardens, um, we've even looked at master plan in the city of Flint and seeing like what the zoning codes are, how can we allow people in Flint to have gardens in their backyard, um, and if they do have one, is it safe enough to actually garden? Is anybody going to steal their food? Um, and we found that actually having the gardens actually helps to reduce some of the crime issues um, because people feel welcome and they come in and they take ownership of it. Um, and so those are just a few of the things that we've done. We've also done some environmental assessments around the gardens and things too. So I would say my, um, for the takeaway that I'd like for everybody to kind of remember is to just look for opportunities across 
sectors that you can and just look for ways to expand your audience.